Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my drugstore foundation routine for you guys. I know a lot of you want a good, solid foundation routine that's easy, that's quick, and that's affordable. That's where the drugstore options come in. Honestly, drugstore brands can be just as good of quality as high-end brands. It's just about trying things out and figuring out what works for your skin type. If you are more dry, you're going to look for a more dewy finish uh, product. If you are oily, you're gonna go for more of a matte type of finish. Here are some of my favorite drugstore brand foundations, um, kind of my go-tos depending on what type of look that I'm going for. I love the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. This is more of a dewy finish, but it builds amazingly and it blends on the skin beautifully. I love the finish of it. It just gives a beautiful kind of glowy finish to the skin. So this is one that I love. The other one is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup. This one is a little more full coverage, I feel like, than the Lumi, and this caters more towards an oilier skin type. So I absolutely love this for when I want a more matte um, look that's gonna kind of stay in place. So for oily skin, this is a good option for you. If you are looking for an all day foundation that's not gonna budge, that is just going to stay in place, that is nice, full coverage, it's gonna cover all your blemishes, any imperfections, then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation is amazing. This is what I'm going to use today. This is a demi-matte, semi-matte finish. I find it to be very matte on me. Um, and it does last a long time. It is oil control, it's an oil control foundation. So if you are really oily, this is going to be your best friend. I have two shades. This is Shell Beige number 102 and Sun Beige number 106. Um, I'm actually gonna mix these two because I do not have a shade that fits me perfectly right now. So these are the two that I'm going to use. I have already primed my skin. Well, I moisturized my skin first with my Clinique uh, Moisture Surge Moisturizer. It's a vital step in your foundation routine because you do not want to put foundation on dry, patchy skin. You need to have your skin moisturized if you have dry patches on your skin, the foundation is just gonna stick to it. It's just not gonna look pretty. And for my under eyes, I did use the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. This is a super duper moisturizing under eye cream. So if you have really dry, kind of crepey under eyes, this is a really great under eye cream for you. I did also already prime my skin with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer Base. Let's go ahead and get started with our foundation. Just gonna shake these up. Let's see if I can get the right color. If you have trouble finding your shade in a drugstore brand because you typically can't really test those out, it's always good to get one that you think is similar to your uh, skin tone and then you can always get a lighter one or a darker one and you can mix the two until you get your perfect um, shade. I just mixed a little bit of both of them on my little spoon spatula here, whatever you call it. And let's see how this color. And to test out a foundation, you wanna test it on your draw, on your draw line. You want to test it on your jaw line, and if you swipe it and it kind of disappears into the skin, that is the shade for you. I think this is going to work. So I'm just gonna kinda of smear this all over my face. And then I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. Always drag it down the neck so that you don't have a line. You want your foundation to match your neck. Going in with my Real Techniques blending sponge. This is a drugstore brand. You can pick it up at Ulta. Much cheaper than a standard beauty blender. And it works just as good, if not better. And as you can see, I'm pushing it into the skin. I'm not swiping the skin because I don't want to move the product around. By pushing it into the skin, it's just gonna kind of melt it into your face, into your skin. And it's going to look much more natural. And I am going to do one more layer 
just to build it up so that it's a little bit more full coverage. I like a full coverage because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation, so I like to hide all of that. Okay, so I think this is perfect. Two layers of that is perfect for me, gives me the coverage that I'm looking for, and I love it. I honestly don't need to even go in with any type of concealer over top of this foundation because it is that high of coverage. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just go in with some concealer under my eyes to kind of hide any dark circles. The first product I'm going in with is this NYX Dark Circle Concealer. It's kind of a little bit of a salmon shade, so it's going to help hide any purple undertones in the skin. And I'm just going to take a little brush and just kind of brush that right under the, the eyes. I'm not taking this all the way under the eyes. I'm kind of concentrating this product just right in the corner of the eye where I get the darkest. I'm just kind of bringing that down because I'm going to use concealer over top of this. This is kind of just a correcting concealer. And if you don't have dark circles, you can totally skip this step. Save yourself some time. And then I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender to just kind of blend that in. And as you can see, that just helped to brighten up that inner corner of the eye. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is their HD High Definition Concealer. Use this to conceal under my eyes, highlight my face as well. I just put this um, right underneath of the eyes, kind of in a triangle formation, and doing it in this way and kind of bringing it up is going to make you look like you've had a little bit of a facelift and also in the center of the forehead right down the bridge of the nose um, right above my lip and a little bit on my chin all the areas basically where you would normally want to highlight your face and bring those areas forward that's where you're going to put the product and then i take my beauty blender and i start at the bottom and start blending and then slowly work my way up till you get right underneath of the eye. So there you can see the difference between the two. And there you have it. Now you have your foundation and you've highlighted your face and concealed any under eye circles. Now you need to set your foundation so that it doesn't budge during the day and of course to help prevent creasing underneath of the eyes. So I am going in with a product that I used to use all of the time. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I love this stuff. I'm just taking a tapered, this is the tapered highlighter brush by Sigma. Any small brush that you have will do. And I'm just going to set this. And again, I'm just pressing it into the skin. I'm not swiping it and moving around any of that product. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. Okay, so that is basically exactly what I do for my drugstore foundation routine. I'm gonna go put on the rest of my makeup because of course when you do your bronzer and your blush and your eyes and mascara and all of that, it kind of makes the face come to life and it doesn't look so flat. But this is how I kind of get my drugstore flawless foundation look, if you will. So. I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup to finish this video. All right, guys, so I'm finished with all of my makeup. I hope you guys enjoy these more affordable type of looks. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. I would love to do more of them for you. Of course, leave me your suggestions. If you guys have a favorite drugstore foundation that you think that I really absolutely need to try out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And I will leave all of the info for this makeup look in the down bar as well if you're wondering what else I have on my face. And I'm also going to have an eye tutorial on this particular look. I'm gonna have that look up 
hopefully either before this video or after this video. If it's before this video, I will have it linked in the down bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. As always, I love your support and I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.